Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Okay, first things first, apologies for the very random filming location. Nothing is set up in my flat yet. I don't have anywhere to really film, so I've just put myself up on my sofa and I've just gone for it because I thought otherwise I'm never gonna get a video up if I'm waiting for all my furniture to arrive. So sorry about the random location. I mean, my bloody cupboard and fridge is basically in the background, but it's fine. So in this video, I decided that I wanted to film for you guys both my go-to holiday makeup for day and night because they are super easy, super simple. Not too many products used in either of them, especially the daytime one. And honestly, the BB cream in my daytime makeup is my absolute favorite product ever. It's insane. So if you would like to see how I created this holiday evening glam and also my go-to holiday makeup for during the day, then please keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with my daytime makeup first. So an absolute essential for me when I go on holiday and a reason why I wanted to film this video now when I've gotten back is eyelash extensions. They are just an absolute godsend when you're away because you can do a really nice natural kind of makeup look without worrying about strip lashes or putting on mascara and it being not waterproof and all that kind of stuff that goes with that. So I actually got these lashes done at Lash Magnifique. Now I got them topped up today so they are pretty full and I got them super glam because I'm actually going out tonight. So this is actually not what they would look like if I was on holiday because as you can see they're quite full. So the holiday kind of look as you would have seen in my vlog is a lot more sort of like natural but they're great. They're here to kind of show you just how easy it is to get the kind of makeup looks when you've got the lashes on. So daytime makeup is really not makeup makeup. I'm saying makeup but it's not actually. It's basically just BB creams and primers because that's what I live for on holiday. I don't want to put makeup on my face when I'm sweating because it's really not good for your skin. The only time I really wear makeup in the sun when I'm on holidays if I'm shooting I just hate the feeling of having makeup on my skin when I'm hot so but these products I'm absolutely obsessed with because especially the BB cream it is unreal it's so good at evening out your complexion really giving you an amazing glow so the two products that I use for my daytime look is the Laura Mercier primer this is the radiance primer and it has got a real dewy glow to it, it even if you just put it out on the back of your hand and rub it you can see the kind of like glow that's in it and then the BB cream that I have used for years now is the barley body BB cream this shade is the color tan honestly cannot recommend this BB cream enough it is absolutely one of my favorite things I've ever found as a beauty product I just can't go over how good this BB cream is so I'm just gonna apply some of the primer so this primer is super super lightweight there's none of that kind of like heavy feel um, to this product which as I said is what I go for when I'm on holiday but it just gives a really nice uh, glowy complexion so I just basically put it on my face a little bit like moisturizer to be honest now obviously the primer is not overly important you don't really need to do this step you can just go in with the BB cream to be honest because the BB cream is amazing I just love the way that this makes my skin look because it has got such a glow to it. So as you guys can see, this primer has just added so much glow to my face. It gives you a real dewy look. You could just, if you wanted to, just use the primer and leave it like this. If you don't want to add any more and just have that on your face, that would work fine. The reason that I'm obsessed though, obviously with the BB cream is it adds a little bit of color to my face because I don't like to overly tan my face just because obviously it's not too good for your face to get too much sun on it. So I like like to have a BB cream that's got a bit of colour in it because I also don't really fake tan my face either. It just helps to even out my skin tone. So I'm just applying the BB cream now and again it just feels like a moisturiser really. It's kind of like a tinted moisturiser but I feel like it evens your skin tone out and gives you a bit more coverage than just a tinted moisturiser. So as you can see from me applying it, there's absolutely no special way to put it on. I just put it on as if it's a moisturiser. And this is the finish that it gives to my skin. So it's given my face a little bit more colour, but also kept the real kind of like natural dewy look. I feel like I've said dewy so much in this tutorial already, but that's exactly the look that it gives to your face. It's perfect for that. Now I could leave it as is, but I like to fill in my eyebrows, especially if I'm going to be taking photos. You know, you want to look a little bit done up and eyebrows are just the first thing that you need to do if you want to look done. Do you know what I mean? I feel like when you've done your eyebrows, you kind of feel a little bit more complete. You're like, feel like you got your life together. So yeah, so I'm using my favorite eyebrow pencil. So this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil in shade number three and because obviously this is the daytime look I'm not gonna 
do them too neatly. I basically just kind of go through and just fill in any areas that might be a little bit sparse. But I want to keep that real kind of like natural look. So I don't draw any like heavy lines or anything. Just give it a little bit more shape and colour. And then at the front of my brow, I just draw two little lines that... I'm going to come in a little bit closer so you can see. So just drawn those two little hair like strokes there. And then I just brush them up. Just to give the front of my brow a little bit more um, shape and then just brush through the product that I've just put in the tail of the brow. So you can see this is the brow on this side and this is the other one. So it's just got a bit more shape and colour to it. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing to the other side. So once I've roughly filled in my brows like that, I'm just going to set them with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setting Gel because realistically we're going to be sweating a lot. If you're like me and you sweat a lot from your face, then you'll know the pain. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna set them in place. And this brow gel is honestly unreal. It's my absolute fave. Your brows just do not move all day. So that is my daytime no makeup makeup look, I suppose we'd call it. So just the BB cream primer and eyebrows. And obviously when you've got your semi-permanent lashes on, you basically look like pretty much good to go. And also camera ready, but not in a crazy way on holidays. You know what I mean? You don't wanna be sat around the pool with a full face of makeup or on the beach. I think a real kind of natural look is amazing. So this this is my go-to no makeup makeup for holiday. So next I'm going to show you what my nighttime holiday makeup look is. This is also another really quick makeup look that I do, mainly because I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like in the hot, uh, when I'm on holiday, I seem to have no time to get ready in the evenings. I think it's because you want to spend as long as you can in the sun and then you kind of come upstairs and if you're, especially if you're on holiday with your boyfriend, you don't really want him lying around while you're getting ready. So this is my super quick nighttime holiday glass. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually just going to leave the base on that I've got because I use the Laura Mercier primer underneath my nighttime holiday makeup as well and the BB cream does make a great makeup base. Obviously, if you've been sweating in your makeup all day, you're going to have a shower and you're going to cleanse your face before you go into your nighttime glam. So the first thing I would do is fill in my brows, but as I've just done that, I will leave them as is. I might just go and slightly define them a little bit more underneath because obviously we're going for a little bit more of a glam look um, and I'm gonna neaten them up with a bit of concealer. So having them slightly more defined is not actually a bad thing. So one thing that I really try to keep when I'm doing my nighttime glam on holiday is a real bronzy look. So that being said, I use my foundation to tidy up underneath my eyebrows because obviously normally a brow concealer that I would use would be a paler shade. I actually don't like that because when I'm tanned, I feel like when I use a light concealer, it just looks weird. I feel like you do have to adapt your foundation and your concealer shades when you go away anyway. So that's what I like to do. So one of my favourite holiday foundations and foundations in general is the Hourglass Vanish Stick. This one is in the colour Golden Tan. Really good colour when you're going away on holiday if you've got a tan great for that and then you're going to use um, a flat brush here just to tidy up my eyebrow so I'm literally just putting some of the product onto the end of the brush here and I'm treating it like it's a concealer basically um, but I just as I said I don't want that really bright under eye um, under eyebrow concealer so this is basically just so I can get that defined look but I'm just using the foundation when I'm away I bring in kind of most of my highlight um, on the face really using actual highlighter because we're going for that super beach glow, you know, bronze goddess. That's my go-to kind of holiday look. So with the um, foundation, I brought it down kind of like just to the crease of my eyebrow and then I'm going to get a brush and just blend it in as my foundation to cover my lid. That's one thing you've got to do. I think when you've got semi-permanent lashes on, you've got to be careful that you don't go too close because I hate getting foundation on my lashes. So I like to go that far down and then get a fluffy brush and blend it in. So to blend in that foundation underneath my brow bone, I'm choosing one of these Unicorn Cosmetic brushes. I love this one because it's really, really big and fluffy. So it's perfect for blending in the foundation around the lashes. I can't recommend it enough if you've got semi-permanent lashes on. So I just don't like taking it down too far. Just enough to kind of cover the lid um, so that it looks like it's got product on it but not getting too close to the actual lashes themselves. And then also you can use the same brush to kind of like blend into the corner of your eye so that foundation is all 
basically covered in that eye area. That way when you come to apply it to the entire of your face, you don't have to worry about your eye area. So as you can see, my eyebrows have neatened up really nicely, especially with this foundation because it is a full coverage, but it stays really dewy, which is why I love it on holiday. So I've neatened up my brows, but I haven't added any kind of like lightness to my face. It's keeping the warmth that I want for the holiday glow. So that being said, now I'm gonna go in for the rest of foundation on my face. So I'm just gonna apply it like this. Now this foundation, you can use as much or as little as you like. I like using a little bit more just because I do love the coverage of this. And on holiday, it doesn't budge off your face either. Now, I do mix this with... So the colour of this foundation, I would not use in England. So it's the Healthy Mix Bourjois Foundation, which we all know I love. But this one is at number 58, and it's just really quite tan. So it only works when I'm on holiday. See, as you can see, even when I go like that, like that's pretty dark for my face, even against my skin. But when I blend it in, and I've got the kind of like glow on my skin and stuff, it really looks amazing. And that, I think, is how you get the real kind of holiday warmth to your makeup. So don't be too afraid to use um, a foundation that is a little bit too dark, because once it's blended in, you guys will see that it's not completely crazy. So I'm just using a damp beauty blender, and I'm going over all the foundation to just blend into my face. So as you can see, I've blended in that bourgeois foundation now, and I'm gonna take it obviously down to my neck. Now I do still have my tan, so I, the only part of my body that doesn't get tanned is this bit kind of like here, because obviously when you're tanning, you don't lie like this. I mean, you guys might, but I don't. Um, so I just bring it down and blend it into my neck, just so it matches. So to contour my face, I am using my favourite MAC concealer, so this is the colour NC50, so this is the one that I use all the time. So I'm just going to apply that here. Literally apply my, my contour in just the weirdest place ever since watching Makeup by Ariel's Masterclass. But it just works so much better, I love applying it here. And then using the Blank Canvas F52 brush, I'm just going to blend that out. The other amazing thing about this product is it does work like a little bit like a bronzer, so it adds just extra warmth to your face, which obviously I feel like you just can't have enough of when you're on holiday. I literally live for all of the bronze vibes when I'm away. I try and get myself as bronzed as I possibly can get away with. So I'm just gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just go over all those areas just to make sure that everything is blended. And then lastly, for the base makeup, I'm just going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one is the colour Ginger. So I'm just going to apply. So this is probably the only place that I still add a little bit of lightness when I'm away because I do love a brighter under eye. I just can never ever not have that. And I'm just beyond obsessed with these NARS concealers. They are so good. So yeah, so I just pop it there, nowhere else, just literally under my eyes and just blend that out using the same beauty blender. That's mainly because it's got a bit of product still on it. So it'll just tone down the brightness of the concealer just a little bit. So that is the base of my makeup done. So now to set anything. I'm gonna set underneath my eyes with my absolute favorite Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of it to the same beauty blender and just set underneath my eye. I'm not gonna bake or anything because I don't want it to be too crazy set, but I'm just gonna set it so I don't get any under eye creases. So here I'm basically doing just this triangle of my face here. That's the only place I wanna set, really. Um, just because I still really want to keep the dewiness of the foundation. I love a real dewy look when I'm on holiday. Now, obviously, if you want a fully set face, then go ahead and set your entire face with powder, but I do feel like it looks really lovely when you're on holiday and you've got like a really dewy glow. And then just using whatever is literally left on the beauty blender, I just press it against my chin, just a little bit in between my brow bone, and then just kind of go along here. This is, as I say, just because I don't want too crazy powder set face, but just enough to kind of keep the makeup from moving around, if you know what I mean. Okay, so next up, I just want to add a little bit more bronze to my face and also just to accentuate the contour a little bit. And so to do this, I am using my NARS Laguna Bronzer and a glow-up brush. This is from Beauty Bay. 
Uh, so I'm just gonna put some product on, tap it off, and just go like this. This is just really to bring out, you know, make your cheekbones pop, and also just add that little bit more bronze colour. Probably a bit more crazy with my bronzer when I'm away than I am when I'm in the UK. So as you can see, normally I keep it like just really at, or like on the line of my contour, but I'm bringing it up onto my cheeks just a little bit more because I want that sort of like warmth um, over my cheeks as well. Just gonna add some to my forehead and then also just do my jawline. So one place we still haven't set is actually the eyelids. So using that same brush that we used to blend out the foundation underneath my eyebrows, I'm just going to get a little bit of the Laura Mercier powder on that brush and just sweep it across the lid. This is just so you don't get any eyelid, um, eyelid creases. And then so to finish off my eye makeup, I don't really do anything too crazy. I'm going to use the same NARS bronzer, so the same NARS Laguna bronzer, and then a fluffy blending brush. This is a Morphe E28 one. I'm just going to add some to the crease of my eye. And then also just going to drag that brush. So we're kind of in like one line going like through the crease and then down the side of my nose just to add a little bit of nose contour and also colour to my eyelid. Okay, so now I've done my eyes and the majority of my face, everything's done. Now comes the fun part, the highlighter. So I'm using the Living My Best Light palette. This is the Beauty Bay one. It's unreal. It's like £12, this palette, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I'm going to use the colour Charmed in this palette, and then I'm using the Sephora Pro Highlight Brush, and I'm going to kind of go to town with the highlight, because I do love an absolute, like, super glow when I'm away. I feel like you can get away with going a little bit more in with your highlight when you're away. This one, though, is such a pigmented highlighter. Like, I was so impressed when I tried this one out. It's so, so good. I just wanted to take the darkness down on my camera just a little bit, just so you can really see how much that highlight absolutely pops. Because if I can make it a little bit darker, you guys can really see that. And it looks amazing, especially in like holiday snaps. Literally looks unreal. The other place I'm obsessed with putting highlighter when I'm on holiday is across the middle of my face. I love doing it here anyway, but I feel like on holiday it just adds like a crazy amount of glow. So yeah, just cross my brow bone like that. Like, it's so glowy, but I absolutely love it when I'm away. So still using Charmed, um, I'm gonna do my brow bone here. So yeah, so there's my brow bone highlight, and then just across the tip of my nose, and also in between my eyes just here. And then lastly, just an inner corner eye highlight. So now with this look, you could do an under eye, um, smoked out of a warm shadow, something like that. But I'm just gonna put on some mascara on my bottom lashes, because as I say, kind of want a quick makeup look, something that's easy and semi-natural. I mean, I know we're really glowing here, but you get what I mean. So for mascara, I'm gonna use the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Such a good one for bottom lashes, this one. This is one of um, those mascaras that I like to kind of leave to semi-dry and then put on another coat, just get real kind of like Bambi eyes, if you know what I mean. So lastly, we are going on to lip. Now, red lip is my favourite thing when I'm on holiday, just to add a pop of colours to my makeup. Especially, I go for a real kind of orangey red while I'm away. So the colour that I was wearing in my vlog that I couldn't remember, if you guys are wondering, um, it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the colour Spicy. And it's such an amazing colour, I'm obsessed with it. Um, NARS lip liner I'm going to use is... So the colour, I was like searching so long for that uh, name of this lip liner. So the colour of this one is called Mariachi. Perfect name, so good. So yeah, so this is a slightly bluier red than the actual liquid, liquid lipstick itself. But together I think they work really well because I quite like having a darker lip liner. I feel like it makes my lips... I don't know, I just prefer it. It's like a bit of an ombre. So with a slightly darker lip liner, I'm just gonna bring it into my lips slightly. Just so the liquid lipstick blends with it, so it's not just like a line, if you know what I mean. So just bring it up slightly. And then I'm gonna apply the liquid lipstick on top. I'm just gonna use the, the flat brush I use to clean up my eyebrows. It's got a bit of foundation on, just go around my lips just to neaten the edges. 
I mean, I am completely obsessed with this lip colour. It's so holiday. I mean, it really is. It's just such a good... Sorry, I feel like I'm like so close to the camera. Such a good red. And also, how light does that make your teeth look? <laughs> Honestly, it's just like such a... Like, when, I mean, it's, my teeth glow when I wear this colour. I'm obsessed with it. So lastly, to set my face, I'm going to use the Iconic London Prep Set Glow Mist. Um, I was living for this while I was away in the Bahamas and the Maldives. I sprayed this everywhere. It was over my body, it was over my face, it was everywhere. So I'm just going to spray my entire face with this. So the best, I think the thing I love about this is it's not like a crazy glow, it's just like a good amount. But especially when you use it on your face, you're not going to end up like sparkles all over, don't worry. It's a really good amount of glow. But um, yeah, I might even just add a bit more because why not? So there we have it guys. There are my two go-to holiday makeups, day and night. I mean, I'm just obsessed with the nighttime one. It's perfect actually because I'm going out. I may not be going out on holiday, but I'm going to rock the holiday glow because, you know, why not? So yeah, so these are my absolute go-to holiday makeup products. Sorry again about the very random filming location. Hopefully... Things will start arriving in my flat soon and I can get a little bit back to normal because honestly, like, I just don't know what I'm doing at the moment. It feels very weird. I need to really just, like, sort my life out. Anyway, uh, I just didn't want to wait any longer and not be able to get a video up, so I thought, just film anywhere. And I'm sitting on my new sofa, so at least I have something to sit on. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video and seeing my favourite go-to holiday makeup products. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and if you try out any of these products on your holidays, tag me in your Instagram photos or let me know how you find them because I love to know how you guys get on with the things that I recommend. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.